In this video, we're going to talk about a couple different types of exponential equations and how to solve them. There's two main cases. Uh, if you can write them as the same base and if you can't. Uh, these two examples here are of the first type that you can write of the same base. So we're going to use the exponential one-to-one -one property that says if a to the m equals a to the n then m equals n. Now again this is where a is greater than zero and a doesn't equal one things like that and then this will be true. So if we can get them to have the same base then we can just set the exponents equal to each other. So this first one is quite basic. Notice that 64 is the same thing as 4 to the third. So because we have a to the m equals a to the n, that means we can set our exponents equal to each other, x equals 3. Done and done. Now this one it's a little more complex, and a lot of students have issues with this one. First note, you cannot multiply the 4 and the 8 to get 32. Don't do it, it's illegal, you'll get pulled over. Instead, let's treat it like this, we're going to need them all as the same base. The thing is, you can write 64 as a base of 4, but you can't do that with the 8. But notice they do all have a common base, that being 2. So notice 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. 8 is the same thing as 2 cubed. And 64 is the same thing as 2 to the 6th. Now they have the same base, but we don't have one exponent on one side and another exponent on the other side. So now we have to do some algebra to get them uh, as one term on the left-hand side here. Notice we have a power to a power, so we're going to multiply. So we'll do 2 times x and 2 times 6. That will give us 2 to the 2x plus 12 times, same thing over here, distribute that 3 through that exponent, 2 to the 3x minus 27 equals 2 to the 6th. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost to this now. Notice we're multiplying two things to the same base, so remember the rule is you add up the exponents. So adding the exponents, 2x plus 3x is 5x, plus positive 12 minus 27 is minus 15, equals 2 to the 6th. Fantastic. So now we rewrote our original equation. Now it has both sides a base of 2, one exponent on the left and one on the right. So now we have two things of the same base equal to each other. So we now can set the exponents equal to each other. To solve this, we're going to add the 15 to get 5x equals 21 and divide by 5. It's not a pretty number, but math is in a beauty contest x is 21 fifths. Very good. So if you're able to write them as the same base, go ahead and do that and then use your one-to-one -one property for exponential equations.